Hi, I'm Ricard from Trip Concierge, and today I'm in another beautiful city of Scandinavia, Oslo, capital of Norway. Trip Concierge offers a six night, seven day package with a choice of staying at the three star first Hotel Millennium, the four star Clarion Collection Hotel Savoy, or five star Grand Hotel Oslo. We also offer some great activities like an Oslo city tour or food walking tours. A blend of the old and new, especially in terms of architecture, and the open attitude of the Norwegians, who all speak English by the way, will make any visit a great one. As with all the Scandinavian capitals, water is also a prominent feature here in Oslo. And just over there behind me you can see an awesome building, I find at least, which is the Oslo Opera House. It was inaugurated just in 2008 and it's been built and reaches into the water of the Oslo Fjord, which goes out over there. One place you should visit when you're in Oslo is the Holman Collins Ski Stadium, where the first ski jumpers started in the late 1800s. It's Norway's, or one of Norway's, biggest uh, tourist attractions. And if you're brave enough, head up the ski jump tower and although you may not jump, you'll be offered spectacular views of Oslo and the surrounding areas. I've now reached Akershus Fortress, which has been protecting Oslo from the enemy since 1299 when it was built. What I wanted to show you here, on the other side of the water, you have Akerbrygge, which is the pier kind of going out over there, uh, which has lots of good restaurants and bars. And in a few hours, it will be absolutely packed with people enjoying the views of the water and the city. I'm now on Karl Johan Street, which leads up to the palace up there in the background. And two days from now, this is going to be absolutely packed with crazy and happy Norwegians celebrating their national day. And the Norwegians know how to party. It's going to be a blast. I'm on the palace gardens and they're really beautiful. Um, and if you walk a little bit further out of the parks, uh, you get to yet another park, which is called the Frogner Park. And in there you have over 200 statues from uh, a guy called Vigeland, and they're really cool. And if you're in a park in Norway, in Oslo, what you should do is pack a basket full of goodies and go for a picnic like these guys. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of Oslo. It has so much more to offer, and I really recommend going to this lovely city. Have a good one. If you would like more information on any of our trips, or you would like us to build you a custom trip, email us at ask at tripconcierge.co, and it will be our pleasure to help you. Don't forget to like our page, and see you next time when we take you to yet another one of our amazing destinations.